Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back for another video. I hope you're all doing super, super well. Today we have got, finally it arrived, this huge and other stories order. So I was actually gonna rush out and buy stuff to film some bits with for today's video, but very luckily my and other stories order actually turned up at about midday. Apparently about half two in the afternoon I'm filming this, which makes me a little bit apprehensive. I might end up getting this video out a little bit later than expected, but it doesn't matter, we're gonna make it happen. This order was so crucial to this week's haul uh, week, purely because this is the most expensive store that I'm reviewing. I've always been super curious about and other stories. I just see some really lovely pieces from them and I've always wanted to buy from them. So for today's video, I spent an absolute crazy amount of money. This stuff, if we don't like it, it like has to go back purely because I have honestly spent a crazy amount of money, but I wanted to make it as informative as possible. And I wanted to actually buy, you know, the bougie expensive things so we can see if they are worth our dollar. So I'm gonna unbox this one live. Live? I don't know if that's the right word, but like on camera with you guys, I'm so excited. If you are new to my channel, I am uploading a video every single day this week. I will leave all of the other ones that I have filmed in the description box below, as well as my Instagram and TikTok. Please do not forget to check me out on those other platforms. And also if you could hit subscribe and like the video, it makes the world of difference to me. I'm going to leave everything that I try in this video linked below so if there's anything you like I will link it as well as this new jumper that I recently bought which is a little bit expensive but I do love it. Exciting. I want to preserve the box as well as possible because you best believe that some of this stuff is going back. I'm back. I literally just vanished for about an hour <laughs> because my parking permit, I like where I live, I have to have a parking permit. It's expired. The guy was about to give me a ticket. I have this awful feeling he's going to come back and give me one anyway. But I've run out of visitors' permits, honestly. This is like my kind of luck. So sorry about me disappearing. You guys wouldn't have even known, but I've just been gone. So this is the first little set that I have to try on. I adore this little cardigan. This is super lovely. I love the button detail, the color of this. I love this kind of like big neckline that it's got going on. Um, and the slight kind of like sleep. I just really, I'm enjoying this cardigan. But for a price point. So as I mentioned, this is a more pricey store. This a cardigan retails for 89 pounds. I got it in a medium and the skirt I also picked up in a medium and that retails for I think either 69 or 59. I will leave everything linked below so you guys can have a little bit of a stalk. But yes, now on the label it's saying this is using, you know, really good high quality fabrics such as wool, responsible wool. <sighs> but when I look at it, I don't know if it screams, you know, super expensive. It is a very cute set though. And what's really frustrating is I've been looking for a skirt like this for so long just to pair with so, so much in my wardrobe. So from a selfish perspective, I actually really want to keep this because I know I would wear both pieces. I don't know if I'd wear them together, but I'd definitely wear them separately. This little cardigan is super sweet. So i just unbutton it so you guys can get a bit of a... I mean, it even looks a bit better like that with a slight more V-neck going on. It is really, really nice. I love the colour on this. It's a really nice cream shade, which you guys know I practically live in. And I love a co-ord. The skirt is so cute. Um, I really, really like that. And I also really like this very cute kind of grandma-esque cardigan. Um, I love little sets like this with some nice knee-high boots. This would be really, really lovely and a big coat and a lovely scarf so i actually do really like it even if you kind of do the cardigan like this it just looks so nice this color is beautiful it's kind of like a borg fabric as well which everybody loves a bit of that at the moment my chair in this room is literally made out of the same fabric it's so sweet though it really is such a sweet little outfit so let me know in the comments keep or return let me know with every item that i try on keep or return so next up i have this super cute little tweed dress this actually retails on the label, it's saying 150 pounds. I have a feeling that I managed to get this in the sale. I could be totally wrong. Um, and I might have just splurged 150 quid on it, but I might have got it in the sale. This is so frustrating because I absolutely adore this. Now, when I got it out of the bag, I genuinely was like, that's not gonna fit me. But I'm very surprised it actually does fit and it's comfortable. I love this kind of blush pink tone to it it's in this really really nice very high quality tweed i can definitely feel the quality in this particular piece it feels great love the little accompaniment 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 the word sounds really weird i like the belt detail i think that's really useful if you're someone that isn't a fan of belts you can just remove that if you do like to sort of bring in your waist a little bit add a bit of shape obviously you can add that 
It has these really nice little buttons, which I think make it look a lot more expensive than like a cheapy kind of button. I am kind of in love with it. I think it would look so nice with some black boots. Um, I could see it with like a black coat. Definitely something that I think is quite a good piece to wear in a few different seasons. I think it's definitely, all, you know, autumn, winter, but I also feel like you could wear this in the, going into the spring. It is just so gorgeous. It's so my style and what I love to wear. This very like feminine, girly vibe. All the Gossip Girl energy. I got this in a European 40 and the length is lovely. It's, you know, a little bit shorter on the front, but it's nice and long in the back. I, for one, am really, really into this. I just think it's so pretty. I hope you guys can see the kind of blush pink detailing with the black tweed. Oh my God, it is really, really nice. I'm getting myself into a right pickle here because I'm really liking the stuff, like really loving the stuff. Next up I have this kind of sweater vest, which I actually picked out in two different patterns. So I went for the hound tooth, dog tooth, whatever it is, style. And I also got it in a really lovely pink color, which I'm really excited to try on in a minute. First things first is itchy. It is itchy, which actually normally means that it's made with like quite good quality, like wool. But I just can't deal with itchiness on my skin. Yeah, this one's 100% gonna go back just purely on the itch factor. It's pretty high up there. However, I do really like this kind of houndstooth. I'm not sure about it in this fleece style. It just feels kind of like sporty, but then preppy and I'm just confused. I have coming up in tomorrow's video. I'm so excited for tomorrow's video. It's the last one here on my channel. And I've got some pieces from Karen Millen and I have this houndstooth kind of cape that is stunning and I'm really excited for you guys to see. I feel like that's maybe more of a better option. I'm not sure on the price point on that, but you guys will see that tomorrow. This is retailing for hundred pounds and I'm just, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I just don't think I'm gonna keep it. I got it in a medium. It's kind of like an unusual shape. It might look better with more of a trouser, something a bit more slim fitting than what I popped on with. I popped on with this skirt, but yeah, um, I don't hate it. I love this print and pattern it's so easy to style with so many things in your wardrobe like, it's so easy honestly this pairs with everything but i'm just not sure I, I definitely don't think it looks like it's worth 100 pounds but next up i have this boucle style skirt so this I definitely have seen throughout the week be a real trend and i'm going to do a video um in the next couple of weeks all about trends for autumn winter and boucle tweed is definitely going to be in that video which i'm super happy about because i think it's classic and classy and I really really like it um this retails for 89 pounds which is such a stinger because I actually love the skirt I'm actually going to take this off so I can show you guys the skirt a bit better so I've just taken off the jumper so you can see the skirt a bit better and as much as I don't want to admit it I actually really really like this the quality feels really nice I have seen Zara bring something similar out but the fit's never quite right on me whereas this in a European 40, I think that's a UK 12, I could be wrong, but I believe that's a UK 12. It's a nice fit, like there's room, it's got some length to it. It just feels a lot more forgiving than Zara sizes. I think we've all spoken about this on my channel and probably amongst friends and just people. Zara sizing is very hit and miss, you know, and I do think it's either just getting smaller or I'm getting bigger, either or is fine. I'm finding their sizes quite difficult, but this I adore and I do think if I'm gonna, you know, keep it in my wardrobe winter on winter, it might be worth the investment. I did have this jacket, which is gonna be coming in tomorrow's video, but I'm gonna spoil it and share it with you now from Mango. This I got in a large, and I will leave linked below. I'm not sure why I got large. Maybe I wanted just like more oversized feel. Um, and I do feel like this paired with the skirt. I mean, it's just the nicest little kind of suit set. Um, super cute, very preppy and gossip girl but i'm always here for that style i just think this looks really really nice as a set so i'm quite enjoying the idea of keeping it purely just a team with this little jacket i feel like this would look so so nice but practically i actually think i'm probably going to wear it so much i've done it again and i've picked out the same item in two different styles and it really goes to show how two different styles of the same thing can look completely different First thing, this doesn't feel as itchy, but maybe it's just in my head because I love the colour so much. This is a gorgeous kind of bubblegum pink. Again, something that I'm seeing a lot throughout this week, so obviously an upcoming trend. But I also just really, really like this colour. I've always quite liked pink. Not too much of it, but every now and again, I do like a bit of pink. Oh, I really like this now in the pink. How bizarre is that? So again, it retails for £100, which is expensive, but it definitely feels really nice and thick. That's the one thing I will say. Um, I think these are slightly different. So some of the finishings on this are a little bit different. For example, 
That's the sleeve on the houndstooth one. This is the sleeve detail on this one. This just feels a lot less itchy. So I don't know if they're made ever so slightly different, these two, but I am definitely feeling that there's a slight different fit going on. I also don't know if that's because this one has all this kind of like ribbed detailing. I really, really like this. Again, not too sure how I would style it, but I really like it. It feels like a really good quality knit. What is happening, guys? I'm liking everything in this video. This is a real issue. It feels lovely. It looks really cute. I feel like it's something that I would throw on and it looks like I've made a lot more effort than I actually have. And I'm just quite liking it. Oh, I'm liking everything from this brand. What is going on? This is why I've never bought from them because I knew this was the inevitable. I knew I would end up loving everything. Um, but yeah, oh God, let me know below. What do we think of the pink? I just really like this pink. It's definitely slightly larger. So it has like a little bit of, you know, a looser fit under the armpit, but it's not really, really oversized. It's just a slightly larger fit. But I like it. I've got another pink jumper that I'm going to pop on now. So this is the other jumper that I'm going to pop on now. But I did, did just want to share with you the difference in colours. So this is definitely more of like a brighter pink. And this is more of that pastel shade of pink. This jumper that I'm holding in my hand here retails for... £35, so there's a huge price difference between both of these, £100 and this one's £35, and other stories have actually brought this particular jumper out in pretty much every single colour under the sun, greens, beiges, but I wanted to go for something that was pink because I'm really getting into this pink vibe. I actually got this in a small because I wanted to wear it with skirts, so very interested how it's going to pair with this black um, little boot lace skirt but yeah definitely a big difference there and I wanted to make you guys aware this actually feels really nice quality um, and I feel like this could be a little bit of a hidden gem I'm gonna maybe tuck it a bit into the skirt as I mentioned I actually got this one in a small just because I did want to pair it with things that were a little bit more slim fitting I also have that really nice tweed dress that I shared with you guys from H&M which I think could pair really nice over the top of something like this I actually really quite like this. I feel like for a basic, it's kind of great. It's very soft. It doesn't feel itchy, which I like, but it still has that like wool effect. So I think it makes it look like a really good quality piece. Um, like the shape of it a lot. I wish they had more stock in other colors because I would have picked this up in a few more colors. Really, really like it. Let me know what you think about this shade of pink. What suits me more? This shade or let's do a bit of an ASMR color theory here or this shade? Let me know. I actually quite like this bright shade, which I didn't think I would say. Yeah, very cute. A good staple in the autumn winter wardrobe. And I like the fit. It doesn't feel too oversized. Sometimes I like to steer clear of an oversized knit just because I want to layer a jacket, coat, anything over the top. And I don't want it to feel like, oh my gosh, there's so much fabric here. So really, really like this. And it feels very, very warm as well. So I have two pieces left, which is absolutely wild to me, considering I spent over 800 pounds on this order just gonna keep it real i wanted to really like review them as best i could and order like a lot of stuff can't believe i've got two things left but i did pick up this what looks to be an incredible kind of jacket jacket coat situation got this in i think i got the medium did i get the medium it doesn't come in a size because the size is not here which is a bit frustrating this sp specific piece retails for 165 pounds it is one single piece of fabric so that's what we have going on oh gosh does it look like a dressing gown i don't know do you know what okay let's let's tie it up and then we can talk okay this is what it looks like i'm gonna just tie it here like this i can't help but think i look like i'm i used to play judo um i pet yeah i know i can't believe it as well i did do judo and i do feel like i'm about to go and fight in judo or i've just come out of the spa i had a lovely massage i'm not sure i do quite like it though oh i'm so confused with this one so yeah i'm very very confused it is a little bit dressing gown slash judo outfit for me personally but i do kind of like it in a weird way and i know if i saw it on someone else i'd be like oh where is her coat from i feel like worn open might be the better option so you can see the outfit underneath styled maybe with jeans or leather lip trousers just so it looks a little bit less kind of dressing gown however do i think it's worth 170 pounds I'm going to keep it real, I don't. This is one single piece of fabric. And if your budget goes to that point and you have cash to splash, this might be for you. But I do think it just seems quite a lot. Again, it has a slight kind of itchy texture, but it is actually quite a nice fabric. 
love the colour. It's a really nice cream, has a nice deep pocket. Again, it has this kind of tie detail. I'm wondering if there's something like this out there for not as high of a price tag. I'd love to know if anyone finds any dupes of something like this because I do think it's quite a cool piece, but it's expensive. Um, yeah, it really, really is expensive. It's not cheap. Um, again, it can, I feel like this whole video, I've just been quite confused. I feel about everything. I do like it, but I don't think I would keep it for the money. I've got to be honest, I've got to be realistic. But yeah, I wanted to get it, I was intrigued. I wanted to share it with you guys and see what I thought. Um, I feel very like mature in it, you know, very like sophisticated, here I come vibe. It's obviously not my typical personality, but I do think it's giving me that kind of energy. Not sure, right, we've got one more thing to try on, which I cannot believe because <laughs> of how much money this order was, but you know, this dress. Okay, this was a bit of a random one, but I thought let's dip our toe in the Christmas party aesthetic because it is on its way. I've got this particular piece in a size um, European 38, which is a UK 10. I don't know why I went for a 10 over a 12, but I did. It has this kind of beaded top detail and then like kind of like a puff ball bottom, which I really liked the idea of. It does look like it's gonna be a little bit short. And this particular item retailed for 135 pounds. I like the fact that the beading is kind of on the back, but I don't love the fact that it has this elastic bit at the back. It looks a little bit cheap, but I love a puff ball skirt. So yeah, this is more of my glamorous piece that I wanted to pick out. I'm very excited to get into New Year's Christmas party wear. Um, coming to this channel very, very soon. I'm gonna do so many orders of nice, fun party wear pieces to share with you. But yeah, let's give this one a go. I've put on the puffball sparkly dress and I kind of am completely obsessed with it. I love the shape. Um, the length is also really nice. It's not too short. I really am surprised, but it feels nice and tight across the chest. So I'm actually happen happy that I went for a 10 in this. I'm sort of finding with and other stories compared to other high street stores, I think maybe they run a little bit more generous, which I am definitely here for. Um, and I love the fact that this dress has pockets. Can every single brand take note? Like, girls love it, well, I love it, when um, dresses have pockets. I really, really appreciate that. So the beading feels really nice on this. I like that it's an LBD, but it has something a bit more exciting going on. Can't help but really want to keep this. I, I don't know why, but I really, really do want to keep it. I just feel like it's a really nice, classy, classic party dress that isn't over the top. So if you're someone that wants to do something fun for the festive season, but you don't want to go wild, I feel like this could be the perfect dress because you could wear it in new, for New Year because it has that nice bit of detail, but I feel like you could wear it for the rest of the year. I hate that feeling when you purchase a dress for this time of year, like November, December, and then you feel like you can never wear it again because it just screams Christmas. Whereas I don't really get that. I think this is quite like a subtle nod to like the festive time. I don't know if I'm making sense here. I hope I am. I really, really like it. It's all double lined at the bottom. It feels really nice quality. It has like a bit of netting and elastic to kind of give it that classic puffball style where it sort of rolls under itself. Guys, I really like it. This is so bizarre. I did not think I was gonna love all of these pieces as much as I actually do. So the stories has completely surprised me here. There's all the detailing, by the way, on the bodice section. So it has all these like sequins and beads going on. I really, really like it. So that is it for today's video. I really, really hope you did all enjoy. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment below. Let me know what I should keep and what I should send back. I'm insanely confused with this one, but I have to send some things back because it really was quite an expensive order. My overall thoughts on and other stories, I'd probably give it like a quite a solid rating out of 10. I would 100% shop from them again. I'm already interested in like buying pieces from their website and looking online. I think what I really like about them is they're offering you things that are a little bit different to the standard high street store and stuff that I feel like you don't see on everyone, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I sometimes feel when you purchase something, the last thing you want to do is walk into a bar or a restaurant and someone be in the exact same thing. I quite like that they have quite unique pieces. Everything is very feminine, girly, um, but also classic. I, you know, some of the things that I've picked up here, like this tweed skirt, I feel like I would wear again and again and again. So I think if you're someone that invests in key core things, you might really like and other stories for slightly nicer quality, but stuff that might hopefully last you year on year. It's not, it's not feeling trend led from me personally. I think a lot of the high street shops nowadays are very trend led, which if you're trying to move away from that, 
and you want key classic things in your wardrobe, I think this would be a shop to definitely check out. They have quite a few stores in London, so maybe if you're based around that area, it might be a good idea to go in store and actually try the stuff on. But I do feel like the stuff I've ordered online is never like the things I see in the shop. I'm way happier with the stuff that I've got than what I've seen in store. So yeah, overall, super happy. One of my favorite stores this week. My favorite items, I mean that pink tweed little dress is just so cute, I love it. Let me know your thoughts below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And please make sure you return for tomorrow's video. It will be the last one in this little series but trust me, we're going out with a bang. I have got Mango, H&M and Karen Millen all rolled into one video because I just ordered so many bits and I need to share them with you before the end of the week. So I'm really excited for tomorrow's video. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to come back. Check me out on all my other socials. I'll leave everything linked below from this video and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.